At the fast lane, get you caught up on your other top headlines. The search is on for two men after a shooting on the city's south side. Happened Wednesday night at the Motel 6 along Phillips Highway. A man in his 40s was found suffering from a gunshot and taken to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. No word though on what led to that shooting. Police say two suspects were involved. Both of them ran away from the scene. This is the same motel where a man was shot just weeks ago back on May 30th. In an effort to improve safety, JSO is putting in more cameras to watch the streets. So this is the new video from West Side on 103rd Street, where a device was just recently installed. Sheriff's office says these cameras will help cut down on crime and allow officers to view what is happening in real time. St. John's County Sheriff's office says they need more deputies and more funding. According to a budget submitted, the sheriff's office is seeking 27 additional deputies and an increase of $6.7 million of funding. They say that funding will go towards hiring 34 new positions in total, and these resources are needed to keep up with the growing population. A driver wanted for killing two bicyclists in St. John's County is now in custody. Henry Hagler III, he turned himself in on Wednesday. He'll be in front of a judge later on this morning. Now, this happened on Racetrack Road on Saturday morning. Detectives say that Hagler ran over the two women who were riding their bikes. Both died from their injuries. The vice mayor of Fernandina Beach wants to make it illegal to drive on the beach. This comes after two women were run over by cars while they were sunbathing. Vice Mayor Lynn Krieger says he knows it's not a popular idea, but he says he's received so many complaints that something needs to change. The decision is still under review by the city. Also